45 on two, take one. And Emily, on my cue, you turn around. We'll do it again and again and again. To me, good storytelling, the storytelling that I enjoy watching is about precision, about how precise it is. Let's roll the sound, please, rolling. It's called The Death and Life of John of Donovan. It's, it's a private analysis of the everyday life of a, of a young man striving to, you know, to be great and to be remembered as a great actor. The character dies and, and we, we begin with the, the movie opens on everyone, every character, every protagonist on, in, in the story finding out about the death of John of Donovan. Uh, and I think we slowly push in on her, and then he, I thought Charlie come back, and then we follow him like this, and another What we're doing today is part of that opening montage where we we begin a Vanity Fair-ish photo shoot, uh, and him on his way to the premiere night, premiere of a film he's he's shot, and now he enters his apartment and finds his wife looking out the window, being not extremely nice to him, so he established their um, tricky relationship. This all came about working with Xavier and being in this film about two years ago. I got the script sent to me and um, I knew some of, some of Xavier's work and I just thought, I, I loved the script, I loved what it was trying to do, the ambition behind it, and I love what he does. It's new working with someone who's definitely my generation, my age. Someone who is 27 is inevitably bringing an energy to a set, to a project. It's an important part of his process that he's an actor as well as a director. He very much lives the text. The more I, I go, the more I, I realize that my only way of truly directing actors is not directing them, but acting with them. Because I can only understand acting from an actor's point of view. So, uh, you know, I'm never gonna walk to an actor and, you know, or stay in my chair and say behind a monitor, uh, yeah, can we do it a bit more, you know, sad, with a bit more sadness? And remember, it's the fall. <laughs> You know, it's, it's not a kind of notes that I'm going to give. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to, I talk to actors during the takes. It's hard to express exactly what you, what you want and what you have in your mind and to sometimes feel entirely satisfied, which is why you surround yourself with people that are, that are, that are have a very, you know, refined sensibility and, and who understand yours and who understand you. So I'm always very involved in every department, I guess. Of course, filmmaking is a collective art, you know, involving a lot of artists and, and, and technicians. And it's something you think alone, but that you create together.